Circular economy is teamwork. Everyone can be part of it, and every single step counts. Polisar is making its contribution together with partners such as FCS, the leading injection molding manufacturer in Taiwan. We are here with the marketing managers of FCS and Polisar. Hello, Christine. Hi, Derek. Hello, Maria. Hi, Derek. It's great to be here to discuss how Taiwanese manufacturers contribute to circular economy. Let's start with the interview. So, Christine, why has it become important to use recycled materials for injection molding? Okay, circular economy is an economic and industrial system with recoverable and renewable resources. Its implementation needs to closely link to every step from production to recycling. Several major trends include, uh, first, the application of recycled materials. Second, the development of alternative materials and decomposable materials. Third, the creation of sustainable raw materials. And fourth, the elimination of toxic chemicals in packaging. So FCS corporate mission is shape a better world. As a member of the rubber and plastic industry, we are committed to assisting customers to produce plastic products in a more environmentally friendly and efficient way, so as to save energy, improve yield, and reduce plastic waste, etc. Interesting. Okay, so Maria, how does Polystar specialize in? Polystar is an industrial line manufacturer that specialize in blown film machines and recycling machines for completing the circular economy process. For this reason, we designed the polystyrene system of our machines to automatically adjust the speed and pressure of the blades. As a result, producers will get uniform size pellets and machine downtime will be reduced. It will also be easier and faster to change the blades of the polystyrene system. So, Christine, what advantage does FCS offer to your customers to use more recycled plastic in their production line? FCS promotes the recycling of materials in the entire economic activities, and we are doing so ourselves, which has become our goal and mission of sustainable operation. As mentioned above, the primary method of circular economy is, is the application of recycled materials. One of the methods is to mix new and used materials. The important appearance of the product is formed with new materials and the inner layer is filled with recycled materials. This way can reduce the use of new materials without affecting the main function of the product. So one of our multi-component injection molding machine called sandwich type can be used for the purpose which is often used by customers in furniture or container products such as tables, chairs, cabinet, flower pots, and rubbish bins. I think that would be very helpful to the producers. Yes. Uh, so, Maria, how plastic producers process their waste? Okay, first, they need to shred and pre-crush all the waste they collect from the injection blow molding process to complete the circular economy. Then they need to put into the polytizing system to process this and recycle into good quality pellets. So we focus on the design of a good polytizing system for them to a simple operation and energy saving machine. How do we ensure the quality of the final product when using more recycled materials? Mm -hmm. When using recycled materials to produce products, one of the biggest challenges is that the homogeneity of the recycled materials is not uniform and the material properties are unstable so uh, which increases the process variation factor and it's more likely to produce defective products and material waste so over the years FCS researchers has focused on assisting customers to intelligently control process variation we have developed the intelligent manufacturing system which is called IMF 4.0 using a large number of sensor perception technologies, automation control software, 
smart auxiliaries and IoT technologies to help customers improve production efficiency, yield, and reduce energy consumption and plastic waste. So, produce better quality recycled pellets, you should choose a better recycling equipment. This type of plants we are cooperating with Polystar to produce good injection molding products, uh, which is utility caddy by using recycled material. You are welcome to visit us during the exhibition. Uh, Maria, can you tell me why Polystar's recycling machines are different from other suppliers? As I saw what Christine was saying, we should have a good equipment to process this waste that you produce in the manufacturing process. So the quality and the size of the recycled pellets from Polystar machine is that almost are as virgin material. In this way, we can ensure your recycled materials can be reused in injection molding machines to produce high-end products. Our goal is to give our customers an intelligent solution that will increase their level of automation and help them with sustainable development and environmental protection. Okay, thank you so much for the interview today. Thank it was you, such a pleasure to learn more about circular economy. And I look forward to hearing from both of you. See you next time. See you.